breaking news alert. Programming for a breaking news update and a major milestone in the modern day space race. I'm Julie Broughton. And I'm Ginger Gatz. And the first all private astronaut crew to fly to the International Space Station is now back on Earth. You see these beautiful live pictures right there. That's exactly mm -hmm. what we want to see. These are pictures of the splashdown about to happen of the Axiom 1 mission. It's happening off the coast of Florida, I believe, just off the coast of Jacksonville. The SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule took the four-member team to the space station, and now they're bringing them home. Weather delays in the splashdown zone turned eight days into 15 days for this team. They were finally given the okay to undock from the space station last night, beginning their 16-hour journey home, and we are about to see that wrapping up now as you are looking at those beautiful live images of the crew getting ready to splash down off the coast of Jacksonville. Yeah, and we were here when the crew launched from Kennedy Space Center on April 8th, marking the first private charter flight to the orbiting outpost, the ISS. Now, they said during their farewell ceremony that their schedule in space was aggressive, getting straight to work as soon as they arrived at the space station. The Axiom crew spent days doing experiments on heart health, aging, and stem cell research. Okay, we're, we're hearing now in our ears uh, that they are less than a minute now from full splashdown into the water, and that's when you'll know things have gone perfectly and it's so far so good we saw the parachutes the four of them uh deploy and everyone just kind of breathed a mm -hmm. sigh of relief and this you know this trip ended up being longer as we said than they anticipated but it didn't mean they could do extra science experiments because they had already packed up and they were ready to come home but a lot of rogue weather kept them from splashing down. Yeah, there are seven recovery options in the Gulf and Atlantic around Florida, but weather was, has been problematic for all of those for the last several times. There we are seeing the crew as they are there. Now the seats do rotate as they are continuing their journey down to make sure that they are at the appropriate G level so that all is good in there. The outside of the capsule gets to 3,500 degrees, but of course they are kept nice and comfortable inside there. Looks like they're enjoying their... Yeah. They're cool as Ride cucumbers down. in yes. there right now. So, you know, and they were clear about not being called space tourists mm -hmm. because they performed many, many science experiments, about 25 of them equaling about 100 hours of science experiments. And we will all get the benefit of what they did up there in space. So it'll be ha really nice to hear uh, oh, what they have to say. It. And there is that splashdown. Perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that gives you chills to see. It so does. Exciting. It does. Oh, my gosh. with the AX-1 crew has, has splashed down. Dragon Endeavor has returned home with the Axiom-1 crew. Dragon SpaceX, we see splashdown and mains cut. We can turn. SpaceX recovery ship and team that you see there on your screen has been waiting for Dragon splashdown and they're now making their way to that location. On behalf of the entire SpaceX team, welcome back to planet Earth. <laughs> the Axiom-1 mission marks the beginning of a new paradigm for human spaceflight. We hope you we hope you enjoyed the extra few days in space, and thanks for choosing to fly with SpaceX. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty phenomenal. Yeah, what a moment. Again, if you are tuning in expecting to see the Young and the Restless, we are watching the Axiom 1 crew splashing down off the coast of Jacksonville, setting the stage for what could be a busy week in space travel. Yeah, Crew 4 will be the next group headed to the space station. They'll be riding in a brand new uh, capsule. The astronauts themselves named the Freedom. Their launch is delayed until early Wednesday morning at the earliest now. The astronauts are set to replace Crew 3 on the ISS. The Crew 3 is scheduled to return home after Crew 4 gets into orbit. You know, okay, so the recovery ship is going out mm -hmm. there to meet them now. And the, what I found interesting is that the SpaceX recovery ship is named the Megan. It was formerly the Ghost Searcher, but it's named Megan after Megan MacArthur. She is an astronaut and the second woman to fly in one of the first woman, I should say, to fly in the Dragon capsule. And her husband is Bob Bankin, who was oh, one yes. of the first ones to, mm -hmm. to go up. So they are, talk about a space power couple. Absolutely. Uh, there. So that's a fantastic uh, sight to see them safe mm -hmm. and back home. Not quite on solid ground yet, but back on yeah. Earth for yeah, sure. Yeah, of course they don't just hop out. It will take a little while to yeah. get them back on solid ground. And we will have much more on the Axiom return to Earth and the next big launch this week on ClickOrlando.com and starting on News 6 at 4. Until then, we send you back to regular programming. This has been a News 6 breaking news alert.
For continuing coverage of this developing story, go to clickorlando.com.